Hello and welcome to Ginger Engineering. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to program an LED and an LED light show using EZC V4 or V5. Alright, the first thing we're going to do is open up our program. Open up your current project for your robot. Go to operator control. Here, all your code will still be able to be used with the uh, LED coding placed in the same while loop. I'm just specifying that now because once I get into it, it might be a little bit confusing. All right, so the first thing, the first thing, if you want to just program one LED light or maybe maybe just a couple, and you just want them to be on, what you do is you go to uh, outputs digital output this is so with um, sensors most of the time we'll use inputs because um, the sensor when it's like let's say with a bumper switch it's pressed in that input is being sent into the brain to do something with the code now with the LEDs uh, the brain is just sending out you know power so it's just an output All right, so we drag over a digital output and then for this um, we have 9 through 12 here and these are all digital ports so you see we only have 9 through 12 because over in controller configuration on this uh, section here with the panels with the arrows um, you see the arrows are facing this direction to the left that means output if you want more to be outputs you can just uh, click the arrow those are all outputs now maybe you just want these all to be inputs and maybe these are the first four outputs so you can just change the arrows direction All right. so we're gonna go in and we're gonna drag over that digital output like I was saying choose a port and you want to set that as zero that means on all right and so it's that easy with a with an LED so when you have the robot on and the uh, remotes connected that light in the port that you've uh, specified will be turned on now um, I'm gonna show you now like a, a cool little light show you can do let's say uh, a reason to do this is maybe you're only using like five of your digital ports for sensors so the rest of the ports are just empty um, a cool thing to do is just stick an LED in between each of those ports so you'll space out your sensor your actual sensor ports and then you'll place an LED in between and then you can have a little light show so if we were to do that what we do is first go over to controller configuration and let's say port 1 is an output port 3 port 5 so all the odd numbers let's say all the odd numbers are outputs so all those will have LEDs in them and then the rest can be used for actual sensors so we've got all those set now you're gonna to want to go to variables Oof. And you're gonna to want to set an integer give it a name I'm just giving it an X and then give it the value 1 okay so then go to program flow and we're going to use the uh, let's see here switch where is that at? right there so switch just drag it in in the while loop underneath the uh, your already programmed stuff and you're going to just put X because you're this the switch is going to be using the variable you just used X so okay now within these brackets these are going to be kind of like our ifs but a switch uses cases so use so you drag over a case alright so for the first one you just write in one so that's basically saying if the sw if x is equal to 1 then the x the code in here is going to execute and this break is going to already be in there when you put the when you drag the blocks over so don't delete that that's important for it all right so this first one um, what you do is uh, you go to outputs again digital output drag that in in the case uh, between the first bracket and the break and you're going to this is where you've turned on your first LED so we'll select number one and we'll select that it's on press OK now you're going to do a wait because if we just have it run like this it's going to be going the LEDs are going to be turning on so fast you won't even be able to tell they're turning on and off so we have a wait in there so that you can actually tell um, you can give it any number really I, I'm just gonna do 30 it's still pretty quick but you can actually see that it's uh, the lights are turning on and off so wait for 30 then it's going to then I'm going to turn that light back off 
by so uh select the output as that port again and then you select one instead so in this case when x is equal to one it's going to turn the light on for 30 for 30 uh milliseconds and then it's going to turn it off and then the break just means it's going to go out of this and go back into the switch and then it's going to go down to the next part if the um the the situation has changed and so we're going to change the situation uh well the, the case by uh so x is equal to one that's what we set it to as the variable and so it's only going to uh, run this code because it's one so to make a change we go to user code over here in input in, well in program flow user code drag that in just above that break and we're going to say x is now equal to two and then do one of those uh, semicolons press ok so it's going to run this code when x is equal to one and then it's going to say x is equal to two so now we get another case and this is going to be case two so it's going to switch to two and so it's going to run what's in this so now we're going to basically do all this same stuff i'm just going to copy it and paste it in That's the quickest way and then just open stuff up and change the numbers so now change this to three change this to three okay and then change this also to three so it runs the same thing just a different port all right now we're going to do the same thing again um, I'm just gonna do a lot of copying and pasting I recommend you do the same thing it's, it's probably the easiest way and then you just change the numbers inside so we just copy and paste another case underneath these two cases open the case up change the case to three and then open this up, change it to 5, uh, open this up, change it to 5, last one, to 5, and uh, I think this is probably enough for you to see, for you to do it yourself. I'm going to do the rest and just uh, fast forward it. Hold on. Okay, so case three switches to three. So this is case three now. Uh, this code should actually be case well should be equals to four. I just got confused because the port we're using is five. So that's that should be four, and then this next one should be five. And then this last one, in the very last case, we're going to make x equal to 1 again, so that it starts the program back over and runs to the top. And so it just keeps going through and turning the lights on and off. All right, so that's that's that. Um, hopefully you've been able to complete all that without me showing you step by step. Um, all right, so now I'm going to download it and show you how it actually works.